Angel is absolutely one of the most fun students I have right now. She's uh, intellectually curious, uh, loves to ask questions, fantastic critical thinker. What I appreciate most about Angel is that she's able to go beyond assumptions and, and dig deeper uh, with her answers and her analysis. Uh, she's a big risk taker too. She you know, does what other people aren't willing to do. When I was in grade 10, my history teacher, Mr. Croswell, he invited Alpha, which is an organization to discuss how um, World War II affected Asian countries and he invited them to do a workshop at our school. So I was really interested by this because I've always had a passion for advocacy and I feel like a direct connection to this with my own background. So um, I reached out to Alpha and initially I was one of their um, junior ambassadors. But ever since I was young I also enjoyed the arts, especially visual arts, and I like to draw. So in my own time, um, in grade 11, I decided to participate in this contest because the theme also resonated with me. It was about catalyzing hope. I was really surprised, I was overjoyed, but I was, I felt a sense of accomplishment that wasn't just from winning, but that my message can now be shown to people. It's something that people can resonate with. I was just really excited for her. Angel deserves it. She puts a lot of work into what she does. I'm not surprised. She's gifted. And I'm just so happy that she had the opportunity to uh, get a chance to show everybody the, the great work that she produces. In my piece, I have three women. They pass on this thread of hope, a uh, red ribbon, to the present with a young schoolgirl, with a young mother, with a grandmother, people who are able to now live peaceful lives because of the sacrifices in the past. Paper cranes are used to symbolize hope, but now we are in a time when they can flourish, and so the paper cranes become real cranes, and that take off to show how um, this generational tie, this connection from the past to the present, is what allows us to continue forward. And so I also had the yin-yang symbol in the center, um, held by hands, and this is to show how um, the balance is always necessary in order for progression, in order for this development of hope and peace and reconciliation. I wanted to show how the sacrifices, the pain of the past is what can promote for the hope of the future essentially. With Alpha what they did was inspire the Ontario curriculum to talk about um, what happened in Asia during World War II, but in general what everyone can do is just broaden your own scope. So look outside of what is typically focused on and try to learn as much as you can without judgment. There's people who understand, who can see this and be able to like form their own emotions, form their own connections with it and that make, made me feel like um, I'm heading a step in the right direction with what I want to do.